So first and foremost, happy Disability Pride Month, everybody. July, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Thank you all for being here this late afternoon. Um, and so we'll open it up to public comments. Are there any public comments? I just want to remind uh, folks that we have our listening session for the Resilience Hub um, with the architects. It's coming up next Monday um, at 3 p.m. and anyone can come if they're interested. I can send the link out um, if folks haven't gotten it yet. But um, yeah. Wonderful. Thank you, Caitlin. Ben, do you have something for us today? I do. I just want to mention that Disability Pride Month, and we have yeah. a display in the lobby here at Forbes, um, suggestions that were made by our advisory board um, and myself. I threw quite a few titles in there. Um, so if you want to come by and check that out, please do. Or um, also, um, this will be my plug for if there are books on accessibility, disability, anything along those lines you think Forbes should have, yeah please let me know. Awesome. Thank you, Ben. Any other public comments? Great. Thank you all. Um, so moving on to approval of the previous minutes from June 11th, 2024, do we have a motion to approve those? I'll make a motion. Oh, sorry, sorry, time out. I forgot to do roll call. Checking in. Sorry, 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 everybody. Um, so let's do roll call first, and then we'll go back to that. Um, so Marilyn Claire. Let's see. Kathy Murray. Here. Counselor Jeremy Dubs. Here. Rodney Kuna. <laughs> Rodney, we're doing roll call. I see that you're here. Oh. Rodney, can you give thumbs up? Claire, he's muted. Do you know? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll send him a message in the chat and see if something's going on. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yep. Linda Kekos. Here. Emma Cornwell. Here. And I'm here. All right. Thank you. Sorry about that. Um, so is there a motion to approve the previous minutes? Motion to approve. Thank you, Emma, for that motion. Is I'll there... second that. Thank you, Councillor Dubs, for that second. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll do a roll call vote to mm -hmm. pass those. Uh, Emma Cornwell? Yes, I approve. Linda? Mm -hmm. Yes. Rodney? Thanks. Mm -hmm. So I sent Rodney a message and asked him if he could see the captions, and he said yes. Mm -hmm. Rodney, do you approve the minutes? I think he's saying, wait a minute. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, I accept them. Thank you, Rodney. Great. Thank you. Thank you. He was he was trying to get reception and he found it. Now his internet is on, he says. Oh, good. Okay. Wonderful. Um, Councillor Dubs. Uh yes. Approving the minutes. Kathy Murray? Yes. And Marilyn is not with us. And I also approve the minutes. So they are passed.
passed unanimously for those of us in attendance. Um, uh, Councillor Dubs, do you have any updates from City Council for us? Um, at the moment, I have only mm -hmm. one um, real update, which would be the uh, Ryan Road Elementary School playground, which was finally came to the mm -hmm. City Council and for approval, and which we approved. And uh, if it's okay with everybody, I'd uh, like to just share this my screen real quick, just so so that can people can see the language about it. Is that okay? Yes, thank you. Okay, cool. Oh, it says host disabled participant screen sharing. Um, Keith can make you a co-host to share your screen. Oh, sweet. You thank you. Okay, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sharing. Here we go. One second. That's not it. Sorry, I'm just trying to, my, the, the Zoom screen is in the way. Minimize this, there we go. Here it is, sorry about that. No okay, problem. so can everybody see that? Yes. Okay, so it's an order to appropriate $720,000 in CPA funds for the Ryan Road School Playground for All. Uh, what ordered that, whereas the Ryan Road School submitted an application for Community Preservation Act funding mm. for creation of an inclusive playground at the Ryan Road School, whereas a new playground is necessary to replace the existing playground that will soon no longer be usable due to age-related corrosion and surface failure, whereas the project will create a playground that is accessible and inclusive to all, including children and caregivers of varying cognitive, sensory, and social emotional abilities, whereas the playground has widespread support and will continue to uh, have positive health status of residents and enhanced quality of life, whereas uh, on April 17th, 2024, mm -hmm. uh, the Northampton Community Preservation Community voted unanimously to recommend uh, that, that $720,000 in Community Preservation Act funds be used to support this project. Um, so yeah, now therefore be it ordered um, that the funding be appropriated to the Ryan Road School for Playground for All project, and that the grantee meets the conditions approved by the Community Preservation Community, the mayor and the city council. Yeah, I, I probably don't need to read the rest, but basically, yeah, so it's all it, it was approved by the council and it's gonna be a great thing for the community. That's so fantastic. Yeah. And and one other thing that I learned about it is that um if for anything any for any for whatever reason in the foreseeable future that Ryan the elementary school were like to close or anything like that, the playground would still be open and uh would still be used be able to be used by the public no matter what happens in that area. Fantastic. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's huge, huge for the community. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yes, and thank you to Jacob Drew for attending. And I think Kathy, you also, yeah, attended one of those meetings to speak up about the importance. So thank you all for your um, advocacy uh, for that. Yay. And so, yeah, that's the only update I have right now because mainly the city council has been focused on budget and things like that. So, but I'm hoping you all know, have more for the next meeting. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, Councillor Dubs. No problem. I'm very happy about I'm so, I'm the background. Awesome. Yeah, it's great news. It's good stuff for the community. <laughs> um, thank you. Okay, so next is uh, voting on the chair and vice chair for this uh, July to June of next year. Um, so mm. there were Two nominations, um, Emma Cornwell to continue being vice chair and uh, for myself for, to continue being chair. So we will do a roll call vote. I'm gonna start with you, Emma, if that's all right. Okay. Uh, so voting on Emma Cornwell being vice chair for this next year, so July, 2024 to June of 2025. Um, so roll call vote, Kathy Murray. 
Yes. Counselor Jeremy Dumps. Yes. Rodney Kuna. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Rodney. Linda Kakos. Yes. Emma Cornwell. <laughs> Do I vote on my? Absolutely. Okay. And I vote yes as well. So congratulations, Emma. You are the vice chair passed unanimously for the next year. Thank you for doing that uh, for us, holding that role. Thank you. And a roll call vote for, sorry, I can't speak in third person, <laughs> for uh, myself to be chair for the next year. Um, July 2024 to June 2025. Um, roll call vote, Kathy Murray. Yes. Counselor Jeremy Dubs. Yes. Rodney Kuna. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Rodney. Linda Kakos. Yes. Emma Cornwell. Absolutely. <laughs> And I will vote yes as well. Thank you all. So Emma and I will continue the torch, be thinking in this next year, if it's something that you would like to do. Uh, I'm, I know Emma and I would both be happy to share the leadership, um, you know, next year, if anyone would like to um, take on either of those roles. So feel free to have conversations with us during the year um ask questions things like that um all right next up is the um disability resource fair that is coming up next week in one week next tuesday july 16th 6 mm -hmm. p.m to 7 30 p.m on zoom um the flyer is done it's out i hope you all have seen it keith attached it to the email. It looks fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jenna, who is our soon to be future commissioner um, coming up, although we don't meet in August. So September, definitely, you will be official. <laughs> mm. um, along with one other person who I think is getting sworn in maybe tomorrow. So just missing this meeting. So she'll also be official um, come September. So the flyer is out. I think there have been some fearless folks posting them up for us. J maybe, yes, Jeremy, were you able to grab some flyers? Yes, maybe I grabbed some. Um, Jacob and I haven't gone out yet to put okay. them up, but I, I was planning on doing some today and the rest of the week as well. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and I think Keith has been emailing folks. Um, so thank you for doing that, Keith, emailing. Um, so an email went out to all the participants. Mm. And oh, thank you, Ben, posted one at Forbes for us. Awesome. Um, so hopefully all the folks participating are posting flyers at their facilities, but also hopefully spreading the word um, by sharing the, the flyer and then also posting on social media, which Jenna also did a little social media post for us. Um, I did see it on the city's website, so they're posting it for us. And I think they're posting it on their social media account as well. Um, Jacob, you're asking if Keith can post the flyer here. Do you want an email of it, Or, Jacob? or an email, sure. I um, haven't I'd, I'd seen it yet. Oh, you haven't seen it yet. Oh, goodness. I guess yeah. I missed the email. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Yes, I will. I'll, I'll send you the um, the email after this meeting. Sorry, you didn't get you didn't see it. You just you have to wait and see it in person when you hang them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have the printed out version. So so when we meet up, I'll, I'll give you yeah. a bunch. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send you the email too. Um, um, a small group of us met, and just so everyone knows, because it is different than um, what we discussed at our last meeting, is that we decided all the panelists would speak five to seven minutes each. We think we have 10 folks, 
And then at the end, we'll do a QA. and a um, So it just felt more doable uh, overall that way. So that's kind of what we ended up on after a going round and round conversation. Um, Jeremy, do you know if the, the MAAB is attending? Did that get? Unfortunately, he, he didn't get back to me. Um, so okay. yeah, everyone else that, I, that has confirmed that they're able to do okay. it that, I, that I've talked to you, but unfortunately I haven't heard from him yet. Or, so they're you know, probably I'm, not attending. Probably not is my guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I sent him a follow-up email. He didn't, he didn't respond to that one. So okay. yeah. It's too cool. bad. Sorry so then that. I think that means we have nine panelists. Um, so that is. Yeah, yeah Rodney. Rodney has a question. Yes. Okay. Speaking of the fair. Speaking of the fair. And Senator 15. Are you talking about the television station? The fifth. The television station. Okay. News of Northampton. That's the news station for Northampton. How quick did the Kenton meeting and as in meeting and yet Davidson Sine 15. Rodney, I'm not sure what you're talk what you're saying. You think that it should be advertised on the TV station? Hey. It should be advertised on channel 15. Yes, it should be advertised on channel 15. Oh, how do we, how do, we do that? Urkin News. Rodney, do you know how? Do you know how we do that? Channel 15. Channel 15. The meetings. Cool committee meeting to set play. Can be put in the same. Channel 15. Thank you. Saying that the fair could be advertised on that channel 15. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Rodney. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. um, does anyone know how to do that? Mm -hmm. That is. I think we could maybe just contact Northampton Open Media, maybe. Uh, um, Keith, do you maybe know? No. Well, we can maybe figure it out. I think that's a good, definitely a good suggestion. That's yes. Um, okay, mm -hmm. I'll see if I can figure out how to do that. I love that idea. Thank you, Rodney. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Welcome. And you're welcome. <laughs> um, I'm curious if if folks know if you're able to attend uh, next week, who is planning to attend. Uh, we do need quorum since it is an official meeting. So I'm hoping there are at least five of us who can be there. So maybe just show of hands if you, so we've got four of us. Yeah. Amy, it's a Zoom meeting. It is, yep. Oh, I can come. Awesome. Thanks, Linda. Five. And I'm not sure if Sydney or Jenna will be official by then. Mm -hmm. That's why I was saying five in case you're both official, then forum would be five people. Um, okay, awesome. Just making sure about that. And then um, we haven't decided on an order of speakers. Um, I think a couple of the speakers have preference just with you know their schedule um so we'll accommodate that but if anyone wants to give input as to the the flow you know of of the of the evening um you can uh kathy do you want to be the point person or do you want me to gather any emails that people have for ideas either way Okay, so email either Kathy or myself about order um, because I would, unless folks want to hash that out right now, I would say we can maybe the, the folks who have been working on this can 
send the emails around and just kind of figure out the order if that if everyone's comfortable with that. Any objections to to that? The, the small planning group deciding the order of the panelists. Okay. Great. Um, one request is that if everyone could generate one or two questions ahead of time, um, thinking about, um, you know, what, what folks might say, or, you know, just kind of be prepared so that at the end, we can fill the Q and A if other folks don't, so that it's not total silence, <laughs> staring at our little rectangles on the screen. <laughs> so, you know, look at the list of folks that are coming and think of questions that you might have um, to start conversation going. So if everyone could bring a question or two, we'll have at least, you know, mm -hmm. five to 10 questions to start us off and we may get to them or we may not get to them. Um, please tell your friends and family about, oh, you got the flyer, Jacob? Awesome. Um, please tell your friends and family about the event, Just help spread the word kind of, you know, in our own circles so that we get um, some some attendance for next Tuesday. That would be great because a lot of time and energy has been put into this. So I really hope that people show up day of. It will be on the website. So people will be able to watch it and use it as a resource going into the future. But it'd be great to have people um, in attendance day of. Keith. Um, yeah, about the um, order. Um, if we could have it to me by like Friday, the end of the day latest, uh, I can post it. Because if we want it to be like an official agenda, it just needs to be out 48 hours, 48 workday hours. So, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Jacob. Uh, I met with Denise Sullivan briefly earlier today. She just wanted to go over how her presentation might go. Um, and she was great. And uh, turns out she was on the Chicopee Disability Commission for like 12 years and knows like everything there is to know about everything. Um, anyway, she recommended that we send we invite other disability commissions. Um, so that might be another avenue for marketing, which I, I thought was a really mm -hmm. good idea. I just don't know how to do that. But. That was, that's been done. Oh, awesome. Nice. Yes, thank you. I think Keith sent invitations to Amherst, East Hampton, Holyoke. Anyone else? Uh, maybe South Hadley and Chicopee. Uh, but yeah, all the ones that came to our resource for our event last year that I contact information for. Yeah, great. Um, did you send anything to Stavros or just through the, the panelist mm -hmm. invitation? It would have been just the panelist invitation, I think. Okay, okay. So hopefully they've spread it around there. So they have a big listserv, I'm sure. Um, that's great. Um, Kathy, other stuff? Um, I was curious, Keith, about your list where it looks like some um, presenters have not responded to you. Do you want those of us on the committee to try and chase them down to make sure they're still coming? I can uh, reply back to them. Uh, back to my original email and just say, hey, we're just trying to um, double confirm. Mm -hmm. um, I have a list too, so I can do this. Okay, great. Can't think of anything else, Amy. Is there anything we're forgetting? <laughs> I know. Any, any other thoughts or questions coming from the group to make sure we're 
thinking of everything. I, know, I had another question. So Keith, you're emceeing, is that correct? And so you'll be introducing, is that As what we're- Right now, yes. Okay, great. But if someone else wants to emcee, I'm happy to defer and I can just host the, host the meeting and do the electronic stuff. Mm. Um, that might be a little easier, um, but uh, if no one else wants to do that, I can do both electronic and the mm -hmm. verbal stuff. Kathy, do you want to do it? I do not want to do it, no. <laughs> not. I nominate Jeremy. Jeremy, else. do you want to do it? What's the question again? I'm sorry. Say again. So it's it's a um, who is going to MC? Oh. So yeah. kind of um, introduce by just by name and organization each of the speakers before they speak and make sure people are speaking for only five to seven minutes. So, you know, at six and six minutes or something like that, interrupt and say, you know, wrap it up, please. In the net. I don't know how you do that, you know, politely pull someone off the stage. <laughs> yeah, I'd be happy to do that. That sounds great. Okay, cool. Yeah, no problem. Mm -mm. Um, so then, so we'll start the meeting with notice that it's being recorded. Um, and then we're not doing public comments, correct? Correct. Okay. And then um, we're not doing any approval of previous minutes. So it's not, you know, that that kind of meeting. Um, so then, uh, so Jeremy, if you want to do that and then introduce me first, and I'll do a welcome. Thanks so much for coming. Mm -hmm. um, or if, or does it make sense for me just to start that out and then pass it to you and say. Jer I mean, I'll call you Councillor Dubs, but, uh, you know, Jeremy, <laughs> I'm seeing for the evening, and so I'll pass it to you, and thank you so much for being here, that kind of thing. That sounds great, yeah, if you wanted to start it off, like, you know, okay. like, you, like you normally would, you know, at a meeting, and then just pass it off, that sounds good. Okay, yeah. um, so I wrote up kind of what I'm going to say, um, explaining what the Disability Commission is, what we do what our purview is um, and a, you know, happy disability pride month. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you to the panelists, you know, blah, 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 that kind of thing. And then a blurb about the disability commission and then I'll pass it to you. Perfect. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds perfect. How's that sound everybody? Flow? <laughs> good. 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 Awesome. Thank you, Rodney. Um, so then, are you happy doing the timekeeping as well? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, um, as you introduce folks. Yeah, sure. That's that sounds that sounds great. We do that at our council meetings. Where the, on our, yeah, so I, I'm I'm used to that. So yeah, that sounds great. Okay, awesome. And then, are you happy facilitating the Q and A at the end, like opening it up and calling on people or? Um, sure. Yeah, that sounds okay. no, no problem. All right, and poking all the commissioners to ask questions if no one else is. Definitely, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and I'll, I'll try to prepare some for myself too. Great questions, great. yeah. Awesome, thank you for doing that. Of course. All right, anything else before we move on to the next agenda item? All right, cool. Mm. I think this is gonna be great. Thank you so much, uh, mm. Kathy and Jeremy and Jacob, or did Jacob, oh no, Jacob's, <laughs> I, did, I didn't see you there, Jacob, with your screen off. Thank you so much to the three of you for um, organizing and making this happen, bringing it to fruition. It's very cool. Um, okay, next up is uh, um, an agenda item that came from the public comment last month from Jacob Drew about sidewalks um, and kind of about 
how can we open up the process to giving input on sidewalks that need repair. Um, so that is where this agenda item came from. So discussion on how residents can report sidewalks and brainstorming new solutions to that, like to those processes. How do residents report uh, sidewalks that are in disrepair? Um, so Keith, yeah. Yeah, I might, uh, uh... Jeremy mentioned um, the budget season, and you know one of the things that um, I think the commission can do is get ahead of the budget season. And so, when before the city starts developing mm -hmm. its capital improvement plan in the fall, you can start advocating, going to the transportation park commission, talking to your city councilors, and saying, "Hey, this is a priority sidewalk for us." That way, it can get kind of built into the CFP plan. Um, this budget season was abnormal, maybe abnormally drawn out, and there's a lot of, you know, um, focus on the schools, right? But you know, they were wanting all the money for themselves, and so if there's a way to kind of build into the CIP plan before maybe some other projects that have more. Um, eyeballs on them we can kind of get that into the into the capital improvement plan um because otherwise you know the maybe the dpw or the transportation uh, and parking might just be looking at that prioritization or you know some of the other um sidewalks that bubble up um but i think we can kind of be more proactive starting the fall um yeah. And it'll take some just making sure we're, we know where that where we are in that process, and getting either a letter or attending those meetings and you know saying uh, which which projects you know might be might be um, a priority for us. Uh, which committee did you mention the transportation? Transportation, parking. Um, Are those separate? Uh, uh, no, it's CPC, yes. Yeah, so Transportation and Parking Commission. And then they have a subcommittee called the Bike and Ped, or Bicycle and Pedestrian. That's what I was thinking of. Okay. I thought I thought it was Bike and Ped that um, Donna reports out to in late fall with her. Yeah, I, mean, I think she's on. On both, I think. Yeah. Think yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've noted. I've uh, I've attended some of those meetings, and I've noticed that they have very similar goals and is like the similar issues as we do here on the Disability Commission, which is you know good to know. Good to know that we can talk to them about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thank you, Keith. Other ideas about how residents can report. Sidewalks. Yeah, Linda. Um, I, we formed a, at First Churches a disability commission or committee. And everybody's been complaining about the sidewalks on State Street being all torn up and people with uh, rollators or wheelchairs or even canes having trouble getting into the side entrance. So I called the DPW and they suggested that I fill up well they told me what to do what what i needed to do and I, so i requested that they do a work order for that sidewalk so we said sub she submitted it but i haven't heard anything i don't know what happens to it is that online no well i try i thought i could do it online but she the woman there said no you have i think her name is cindy mm -hmm. she said she would do it and i just requested it Okay, so you called her or emailed her? Both. Both. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. That's great. Other ideas? Something to say. Yeah, Rodney. Yeah, okay. yep. hey, I'm ready. 
Yeah, go ahead, Rodney. Speaking of the sidewalk. Speaking of the sidewalks. The sidewalk and the bridge between end of the street and beginning of East Hampton Road. So the sidewalk on the bridge at the beginning of South Street and East Hampton Road. Terrible. It's terrible. It's a drag. It's uncomfortable. It's you can't walk comfortably. Turn it around. It's very bad. You must be done about it. Something must be done about it. You must be it for many years, but nothing has been done. So you've made a request, but nothing has been done. Right? Oh, you already made a request for that to be repaired, Rodney? Years. For several years. Okay. And this is, sorry, I have been living in my house for 34 years. I've been living in my house for 34 years. And it's on South Street and it's terrible. Northampton needs to do something about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is South Street. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's great. Other ideas? Mm -hmm. Jacob. I don't know that this is an idea, just more like a, it seems that there are so many sidewalks that have issues. And then we have the ADA transition plan. So there seems to be like, you know, mm. an attempt to holistically describe the issue and create a plan. Um, and that feels like a good start, but it didn't seem to, it didn't seem to have the teeth it needs. And I, I don't know if, if Jeremy wants to comment on it. Um, but I feel like part of the problem seems to be like the piecemeal advocacy and then not really a, a more of a concerted larger effort to fix the sidewalks in general. You know, want this to be on the mayor's radar is a real problem that needs to be fundraised for and, you know, explore grants and, um, I, I guess I guess I worry that it's, you know, if it becomes, you know, a voice over here and a voice over here and a voice there, all advocating for different sidewalks, all of them need to be taken care of. There won't be a, it, it will be a piecemeal approach that will take another 10, 20 years to really make a dent in the issue. Um, and I, I, I feel like a larger like chunk of money and work needs to be dedicated to this. I don't know how that could possibly happen given how strapped we seem to be in Northampton for cash. Um, you know, but I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not really offering much help, but it just, it feels like um, a way to approach it holistically feels useful. And I, I don't know what that would be, but that feels like it, it would be a good thing to explore. Mm -hmm. um, anyway. All right. My rice cooker. <laughs> Thank you for those thoughts, Jacob. Um, Jeremy, did you want to add anything? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I completely agree with, with Jacob. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been a hard time, like, you know, learning how things work in the city and, and, I, you know, I voted no on the budget, you know, th this season because, and one, for one thing, because of this one, for one reason, it was the school budget, but also because there's still very little money or not, you know, not very little money, but there's, there's not enough money being put into repairing sidewalks and, in the DPW budget in general, um, which is, you know, it's a, just very challenging. Um, so like, I feel I feel like I agree with Jacob that we need a better system of addressing the sidewalk issue. We need like a grander plan. Right now, it seems like the only time the city works on sidewalks is if, the, is if, it, is if it's like, they're doing something bigger, you know, like Main Street design, <clears throat> where it's like, you know, that's 
sidewalks are part of that project. And so that's why we'll get new sidewalks on Main Street eventually. But <clears throat> with all the other sidewalks, we have to like advocate for them individually. So I, I don't know what the answer is. I feel like it's a really good thing that we're ha like we're learning the, all of this, how everything works, and and that we we talk about it as a commission. And I feel like maybe not, since we're all we have we have this format here where we can all talk about the individual sidewalks that we think are are in, in in need of being fixed and so i feel like at least right now the best thing we can do is advocate for the for those sidewalks and, and try to get those prioritized by the city and kind of like what keith was saying do it in time try to do it like in time when like the dpw can actually help with that you know where it's like the plan where like you know we, we do it while they're making their plan for the next year you know what i mean um so as, yeah like as soon as we can advocate for the sidewalks that we think we need to get fixed or priority prioritized you know what i mean so i feel like yeah at least right now that's that's what that's like the best answer but and then i but i agree that hopefully we can come up with a better process where like you know the city has like more of a broad focus like a, broad, like a focus on like doing the whole the, all of the sidewalks eventually you know what i mean but it'll take a while yeah Sorry, that's that's yeah, that's the best I got right now. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oops. Um. Yeah, Jacob. I, I just add one more thing. I do feel like there is a world in which this is like a positive net economic benefit for the city. Um, you know, the U.S. population is getting older, and there is a natural sort of alignment between the disability commission and who whatever commission is represents um our older generation or the the older people of northampton um and i think um amy we may have talked about this at one point and i am at, i i remember your your thoughts about the vision of northampton being like a known destination for people with disabilities and how that like creates a place for people to retire in. It creates a place, um, you know, for people to move if they, because the sidewalks are terrible up and down the East Coast. I mean, they really are. I don't know if you've been to New York recently, but it is not easy getting around in that town. Uh, um, that's, that's where I fell out of my wheelchair and broke my arm last year. So that was oh, in New York it was yeah. because of the sidewalks. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, imagine a, a respite from that. Imagine a place that is known as, you know, somewhere that elevates the needs of people that use mobility devices. And frankly, it, it if it attracts, you know, wealthy retirees, all the better. Um, and like making our town a welcoming place for folks who have mobility devices is ultimately going to be financially beneficial for the town if we if that is some if if that argument holds water with the per the people who hold the purse strings in town maybe we'll get farther i i you know i don't know if there are studies that demonstrate that kind of thing but it it intuitively makes sense to me thank you Two thoughts to add to the conversation. Um, it might be worthwhile to take a look again at the sidewalk study from, I wanna say 2019, but I could be wrong. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, because in that, it's a very lengthy document, uh, the report, but at the end, it shows the priorities, you know, the high priority sidewalks in Northampton. And so that would be worth, um, you know, us individually or, you know, a subset wants to kind of really dig into that together and look at that and um, see if we can reach out to DPW to have a conversation about how these are being prioritized in the coming years, you know, something like that um, could be worth doing. Um, 
And then the other thing is that Emma and I met with Donna Lascalia from, who's the mm -hmm. director of DPW in, I think, January um, this past winter and had a great meeting with her and then shared uh, the notes from that at a subsequent uh, disability commission so that we all had that same information. But um, she's very much open to the disability commission kind of being one of the spots in town to uh, collect information from residents on sidewalks that are in need of repair. So like Rodney, we can take that the South Street need you know, and, and bring that back yes. um, in August, September, October. Absolutely, Rodney. Um, and so we can collect yes. information from people who come to public comment or from any of us, um, from any people we know, you know, any information on sidewalks that need repair and we can uh, take that information to her so that she can add that in to her data as she's making decisions for the coming year. Um, so I don't know how we get the word out to residents that they can come to the Disability Commission and offer those needs. That's, um, you know, we don't have a listserv, we don't have um, social media account, you know, maybe we could write a letter to the Gazette to kind of try and amplify, you know, the, that pathway. Um, you know, I think that's part of what we do as the Disability Commission is we, you know, we try to support people in the disability community. And so we have to be able to get that word out somehow. So um, if folks have other ideas, that's that'd be awesome. Um, but just so people know that that is an avenue that you know that Emma and I can take that information back to DPW so that they have that information as they're making decisions for the coming year. I have a question. Yes, Rodney. But it be okay, okay. If I can wait, I can do the Gazette. Would it be okay if I write a letter to the Gazette? Hmm. As a member of Jonas Hamilton Disability Committee. As a member of the No Disability Committee it. about South Street, we'll be happy to create I would be happy to write that letter. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Remy. Yeah. If you want any support writing it or you want to um, go back and forth, uh, we can email about it if you would like to. Okay. Um, Before I send it to the Gazette, I could email it to Keith. And Keith, and email to the members. And Keith could then pass if, it out to the yeah, members. If, if, if it give me approval, I could and then, if, and then if the members give me approval, I'll send it off. That's wonderful. Yeah, we just need to make sure that it goes to the mayor's office and it's okay with them. Yes. Perfect. It should be included. Yes, that should be included. So Rodney. So he'll send it to Keith. I am Matthew. Fantastic. So if you send it to Keith, Keith will share it with the mayor's office uh, to get approval and share it with any um, disability commission members and then can submit it to the Gazette. Thank you, Rodney. That's Make wonderful. Question. I've got to do this. 
My pleasure. I'm happy to I do this. Do this book. I will do my homework. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Councillor Dubs. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say like maybe just in general, maybe we could try to make it one of our goals for the next meeting to have some like um I don't know if that means like maybe meet maybe a, I don't know if that means maybe a small subcommittee mm -hmm. as we have off in August like maybe we could use that time to have a conversation between either a subcommittee or just through email or something like that where we like prepare for the next meeting and talk about like or maybe come up with a list of of sidewalks sidewalks that we think are should be priorities of the city you know what I mean and or for you to also share with Donna Lascalia. Um, yeah, just in general, I was thinking that could be something we have ready for the next meeting. Mm -hmm. So we can have a conversation about it then. That's a great idea. Cool. Emma. Um, thanks, Amy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I didn't know if... Mm -hmm. I feel like it sounds like the fall is the time mm -hmm. to get in touch with DB, DBW and the city as far as um, their budgeting, yes. So maybe like in our September meeting, kind of piggybacking off what Jeremy said to like have more of a conversation or like inventory of in that meeting, like collecting all our complaints for lack of a better word and um at that meeting to like present to um the powers that be um I guess for our September meeting that makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. Not not to say that a subcommittee can't like also work on that. Uh, I think if I'm understanding correctly, those can be done, you know, kind of in tandem. Yeah. So if we have an agenda item for the September meeting, be um, collecting all the sidewalks that need repair mm -hmm. um, from everyone on the commission to be able to, to give different sidewalk sections that are in disrepair. And if some folks want to meet um, four or fewer commissioners want to, to meet um, before the September meeting to kind of go through things with the fine tooth comb, maybe go through the sidewalk inventory um, report from 2019, um, brainstorm that might, you know, take a little more time, but then the result of that can be shared, you know, just with everyone else contributing as well at the September meeting of sidewalks that need attention. Um, Jeremy, it sounds like you might be interested in having a conversation. Definitely. Yeah. I would love to do that. Yeah, anyone, tell. anyone else? Mm -hmm. Um, I will join. I will think. Rodney, what did you say? Speaking. About the inventory. Speaking about the inventory of, of science. will be provided of that need to be repaired. I think Rodney, you're saying that you would like the inventory to be provided but nothing is done. That need to be repaired. With my idea, repaired 
an inventory. That's my idea to provide an inventory of the dead rock. Of the sidewalks need to be repaired. that need to be repaired. That's my idea. That's my idea. Oh, that was my idea but two years ago. We are talking about it again. But here we are talking about it again. Yeah. I will be done at the time. I hope this time long. something will be done. Okay. Keith, I wonder if you could send the sidewalk inventory report. Uh, it's from 2019, right? Is that right? I keep saying yeah, 2019. Um, if you can send yes. that to all the the commission members so that everyone has it and it's on the same page. Mm. Rodney, I'm sure you've seen this, but Keith will email the the study and the report that was done on the sidewalk inventory uh, in 2019. Okay. So you have that. It's very long, long report. Under I would look. Sure. Yes, he says I would see it. I I would like to see it, and I'll read it. Wonderful. Yeah, it's it's very useful, I think. Councillor Dubs. Um, thanks. Yeah, I was just going to kind of just add that maybe, like, mm -hmm. while we're preparing for the next meeting, and, and uh, uh, if some of us meet, if a few of us meet up, we could maybe also try to go through that inventory together, and and then so at the next meeting, we could maybe have just a small discussion about it and explain what's on the inventory since it is very long and, and like, you know, there's a lot to go through. Maybe we could like come up with like the highlights and share them at the next meeting. Yes. You know, just, like, kind of just like a quick and easy way to, to explain it. Yes, that's great. Um, and I was going to say, I'll join you for that um, smaller group meeting about sidewalk. Awesome. Stuff. If where people are welcome on the subcommittee, also always happy to discuss sidewalks. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, any last thoughts before we move on to the next agenda item? All right. Next up. Uh, Councillor Dubs and Jacob Drew have been working on the PSA for us to do, uh, so to have a PSA about um, snow removal from sidewalks. There is a city ordinance for sidewalks to be cleared within 24 hours of snow stopping, um, but often sidewalks are not shoveled. And so they are not cleared, which makes it very difficult for people using mobility devices. Um, so mm -hmm. take it away. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so um, Jacob and I met up a few months ago or a couple months ago to, we, we sketched out a little script, a little idea, some ideas for PSA. And then this morning, um, Amy and Keith and I met and, and talked about it and had some other new ideas that we added. Um, so once again, I, so I actually added that. I took some notes and, and added that. So once again, I'm going to share my screen um, so that people can read along. Just got to find it real quick. Here it is. Okay. So um, so yeah, it just starts off. Um, it's morning. The snow has accumulated into little mountains on the sidewalks outside an apartment building. Inside, Jim in his wheelchair peers out the window looking concerned because of all the snow. Leah is at Thorns getting coffee. Mm -hmm. She's looking around as if expecting someone. A scene uh, followed by a scene with a busy family getting ready for the day. And the father, when he sees the snow, says, I'll shovel tomorrow. Jim runs into the block sidewalk in front of the busy family's house. He needs to find another route. Jim needs to use the street. Maybe he gets splashed by a passing truck. Uh, Jim comes up to another snowed in sidewalk in front of a business. Mm -hmm. The sign on the door says closed. He has to find yet another route. 
Jim finally makes it to the sidewalk just down the street from Thorns, but he's stuck in front of an unshoveled curb cut. Just then, Leah leaves Thorns, going in another direction. It's sad. <laughs> and basically just saying that at the end that um, they, weren't, they weren't able to meet up because um, she waited around for him and he wasn't able to get there because the, the, the sidewalks weren't shoveled well enough. Um, so just a few goal, uh, goals in creating this. Um, to communicate the ordinance and um, one idea was to have a narrator um, in the beginning and at the end possibly um, and then also words on the screen that explain the snow ordinance and, and um, you know how people can how people need to shovel the sidewalks and everything. Um, um, one idea that Amy had this morning was that it could be in black and white and made to look like an old silent movie kind of like an old Charlie Chaplin movie. Um, and then one idea that um, I was thinking because it would be so difficult to film this in an actual snowstorm like you know we'd have to wait around for a snowstorm and then you know actually film it that would be really difficult to do so we were thinking make we could make signs or sheets that uh that say snow on them and um so it, could, it would be kind of humorous in that way just to kind of symbolize snow but not actual snow um and then um yeah so um the idea is to kind of make people laugh while communicating an important message for the community um Another idea was that um, actors, if it's filmed like in the summertime or if, the, if it's during warm weather, we don't have to dress like it's winter. You could just dress like uh, as if it's summertime, but maybe like wear a scarf or earmuffs or something to to show that it's winter, just to symbolize that. So yeah, it'll be funny, but also like have like a good message. And that's the kind of the basic idea. And yeah, that's basically it. I, I'd add that I think Jeremy oh. volunteered to star in it. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> no pressure. You better. I'd be happy to, to act in it. And then and I was, we were also thinking that to open it up to everybody, like whoever wants to be in it and be a part of making it, that would be a great, great project for everybody. It's fantastic. Cool. Yeah. So that's just the basic idea right now. And I feel like we could get started on that as soon as we want to and have it ready for the winter. Thank you so much. Super creative. Love it. Thank you. What What do folks think? Mm -mm. Like it, don't like it. It could have it, you know, also people can change, we can change it. Like the ending, it says that it's sad right now, but like we were talking about earlier, it doesn't have to be sad at the end. It could, you know, like, so it's all open up to people, you know, to everyone's creative ideas. That's just, you know, the basic outline that we have right now. I like the whole Charlie Chaplin black and white. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Like make it a little bit slapsticky or something. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. it, it, we don't want to be too serious like, so. yeah it's just like a short commercial and um it'll have an i think it'll have an impact if we can make people laugh mm. anyone else want to uh star mm -hmm. in it There's silence out there. <laughs> we can all think. We all have time to think about it, so we don't. We don't have to decide now. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's but, lots of parts to play. Bystanders, right? Extras. This is your department, Jeremy, the film star here. But we need a family who's like rushy, rushy. I I have that. If if. Oh you... yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Cool. Awesome. But a family who's like, ah, I can't shovel. I got to go. You can play that part. <laughs> <You'd act laughs> <enough>. <laughs> anyway, it's fantastic. It's, it's a fantastic uh, beginning for us. Um, so what do you want to do for next step? 
maybe start, well, I guess, for, I was going to say contacting Northampton Open Media and borrowing a camera, but maybe maybe before we borrow a camera, we want to get the, the people together, like, you know, figure out who's going to be in it, who's going to film it. Yeah. I think I can, I probably know somebody that would be willing to do the actual filming. You know, we we can borrow. We could probably borrow a camera from Northampton Nova Media, yeah. and then like, if somebody can, I'll probably I'll probably I'll ask somebody that knows how to operate the camera. You know, they can help out. Mm -hmm. Great, and it's nice because it can be filmed in chunks, so not everyone yep. has to be there all at the same time. Yeah, we could do each scene separately. You know, like on different days, even. Yeah. You know, and just you know, it could take a couple months, and then, but by the time it's October, I feel like we could get it done, you know, so, sometime around then. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe even, you know, I don't know how long it would take exactly, but I feel like we could, we can do it though. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Um, anyone so, else yeah. want to be involved? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, that was just, yeah, just going to finish up just saying like, if we want to, the next couple of weeks, we'll start thinking about who's going to be involved in the making of it. Okay. Or come to some decisions on that. Okay. Great. Awesome. All right. So you'll reach out then? Yes. To, to well, maybe I'll start by reaching out to you or yeah, I'll yeah. reach out to some folks and any of any, if any of you want to reach out to me later, if you don't want to talk about it now, you can always talk, we can talk about it later. Okay. Just let me know. Just let me know. Awesome. Thank you. Start cool. gathering the, the actors. Yeah. <laughs> exciting it is it's super fun i think it'll be very cool. yeah it'll be a fun project for us i think yeah and to educate some folks who might not even know that there is an ordinance exactly that's great um other business not anticipated mm -hmm. i do have one thing that um I believe the mayor's office is working on um, a proclamation in support of Disability Pride Month to go on the website. So to have that um, up and out there. So um, it should be up soon. I didn't see it um, yesterday. I looked, I didn't see it yet, but that is in the works. That's good news. Yeah. All right. Anything else? All right. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Yes, I have a motion. Thank yes. you, Rodney. Rodney Amy, motion, to a motion to adjourn. Thank you, Rodney. Uh, Amy, I have a question though. I thought this Friday is the uh, get together. Yes, since that is not an official. Oh, okay. Uh, Disability Commission meeting. Um, we're doing that kind of separately off offline. Oh. So I'll I'll send an email tomorrow. Okay. Yep. And I second. <laughs> <laughs> you. So Linda Kiko seconds the motion to adjourn. So the the uh, the meeting mm -hmm. is officially adjourned. <laughs>